All right. Welcome back to the second part of the Art Time episode involving Lieutenant Goman. And uh, today, what we are doing is just shading all of this in. Now, originally, I was thinking, um, what well, we're well, well, going ahead and just like do the outline and then just start the recording there. But then I was like, nah, I want to watch the Dragon Ball, so um, we got the covering done with. So now all we need to do is shade, texture, and do all that stuff. So it probably don't, won't take that long. We were lucky enough to be able to have somebody take the overtime because they were planning on trying to do it again. So thankfully, we're not pressed for time and we're not agitated. But I don't know what the hell is a plan for tomorrow or Thursday. I don't know what's going on. A lot of nonsense happening at this place, but it's fine. It doesn't matter. And uh, apparently a couple people quit. One is quit. Uh, one is quitting. One's already quit, apparently. So yeah, a lot of nonsense. But we're not here for that. No, we are here for this. I am actually quite extremely tired. More so than I should be. So I am going to be rather, you know, calm here. And less hectic. But yeah, as you can see, we already got, like, some of the people drawn. I got, you know, this person got a bad whipping. And, uh, yeah. But the background here is, uh, going to be, like, rusty, kind of like, uh, you know, areas are a bit more, um, brownish in the fog department. It definitely is quite a horrifying place to be in. And even if you are a machist, I imagine it's not fun when this machistic woman over here is literally going down on you for like, you know, hours on end, depending on how long she feels like going. And plus, you know, you're not going to escape in this instance. It's, it's not like it's not consensual. We, we know that for a fact. It's not uh, pleasant. Not pleasant at all. Uh, but uh, regardless, if you um, find yourself indeed liking the entirety of this video, then I would suggest you go on ahead and like it. For these poor prisoners' sake. And also, subscribe if you want to see more. And now that we got the intro plugin or whatever it's called, let's continue on with the main meet and greet of the entirety of this drawing here. So, um, yeah, a lot of um, a lot of tiredness today. Don't expect too much out of me yet. What's <laughs> I might only be able to get two drawings done with this week. Which is annoying. I want to get more. Really did want to get more. But I'm tired. Probably going to be tired tomorrow. We'll see what happens. And watch, as soon as I try to go to sleep, my body's going to be like... <laughs> as it gives me a goddamn adrenaline rush again. Hopefully that's not the case. Hopefully. But as it stands right now, whoops. What you doing, cat? As it stands right now, all we need to do is shade and texture the background. And then we gotta do all the effects and stuff, the smoke, the fog, all that. Shadows and lighting. And then after we have done that, Like your chops, and after we've done that, all I gotta do is post a drawing in Lieutenant Goman's background, which that is gonna take a while, probably like yeah, half an hour. Depends on how long I can make it, reasonably long, and like too long, but not so short that it doesn't live up to the others. The other four descriptions. 
We know for a fact that Lieutenant Goldman is not a good girl. She's quite evil, quite bad. <clears throat> and it makes sense for her to be working with the Sanguine. Punish the weak for being weak in any way possible. In any way possible, no matter what. And that's what she's doing right here. Um, I will say this, though. Not everybody in the Sanguine faction is evil. One person, like I said, I think I said before, Lieutenant David is technically being forced to, to work for the Saint, uh, Saint Queen. And uh, I don't remember if I said the reasons why or not. If I did, uh, well, I guess it uh, makes sense for me to, like, not try to spoil it. Not really a big spoiler. It's more like, you know, the first time you see him, you get, like, hints that, yes, he's there against his will. Aside from that, um, well, um, tiredness, give me a minute to try and figure out what I was going to say, I've forgotten, I have forgotten what it was. Alright, let's see. Yeah, I'm going to try to get the wall here finished first, then I'm going to go get the flooring after I've done the wall and all that. And then I got to do a little extra right here. And right there, just the smaller bits. I wanted this area to be full of pipes and stuff. So this is like the fencing the area, like, like uh, the best way I can describe it is um, like this, via this. Here's the staircase. Here's the hallway ending off there. The door right here, which is going to... Okay, maybe not this, actually, since this is probably... The door right here with this over here kind of would cut off to a little bit right here, leaving somewhat open. And then off to the side over here. Right there, almost. Maybe, like, right around here. And we got this area over here. And then we got, um, let's, let's see here for a quick second. This area like that, so that makes up the entirety of the room right here. You go in, staircase going down, you got the pipe right here, you got this area, opens up a bit. It probably goes more in, like, this direction, like, let's be honest, it probably, like, goes... It's probably, um, you know, perpendicular to this. We just see this guy who's probably, like, up against the bar here. And then, I know the perspective looks a little off. I, I know that for a fact, but it's fine. Could be, like, a little bit more inwards. Like, this is actually, instead of, like, this, it's kind of like this, in the same way applies going in the other direction. And it goes even further inwards. I don't even know why I'm trying to explain it. But that's the best, um, the best way I can describe of the look of the entirety of this here facility. Or at least this part of the facility. It's definitely bigger. Because I don't like the fencing going down, so there's like another floor maybe. And if you're in this area, you hear a whole bunch of screams and stuff. Because it's not just Lieutenant Goldman who's punishing these poor, unfortunate fools. No, no, it's a bunch of other sadistic, sanguine members. You'd have to consider yourself to be very lucky to be punished by her in the ranks of the sanguine. Or unlucky if you don't like being punished in the way that they punish ye. For no reason other than to just beat on you. I mean, this is what this poor person's back looks like after a session with the Lieutenant Gome. And this guy's about to go on, undergo the same treatment. It's, um, not, it's not, uh, not ideal, as for certain. Probably like a bunch of blood all over the floor. Probably very weak from blood loss, that's for certain. 
But uh, yeah, that's that's what you have to look forward to if you ever find yourself within these halls, if you're not a part of the Sanguine faction. And even if you are a part of the Sanguine faction, <laughs> you still don't want to find yourself within these halls if you're not going there to beat darn people. Because if you're... If you're in these halls, you're either one of two people. One, you're one of those people who enjoy beating on other people. Or two, you're getting beaten on by all of those people who are beating on other people. And that's the entirety of this facility. It's somewhat like a prison, almost. With everybody chained up to piping and, um, and certain, like, areas to get whipped or punched or or batted, or whatever kind of weapon the certain sanguine members decide to choose from. We've seen, at the very least, like, a large majority of the uh, sanguine bases, a lot of, like, spiky, intimidating places. It only makes sense that you would be put within a place like this, where tetanus is high, and, um, you know, pain is at an all-time high. There's no relaxation, it's all just pain and misery. You don't even know, my... Don't say it! Don't you dare say it! My pain! <laughs> I told you not to say it! Uh, for Christ. All right. Um. Yeah. This right here is um, quite how do you say terrible place to be in. Do not. Want, you do not want to be here. Trust me. You will find that escape is unlikely. Also, did I do this wrong, or is this? No, I did that right. Or maybe this is actually supposed to be underneath it. For the sake of having it be not too big, but big enough to, I don't know, differentiate the entirety of the fencing area. I will say this, though. Whew. The Sanguine definitely has some cool-looking bases, despite how terrible they are as people. Um, I can actually bring up a, a good example of one cool base that I like. Ooh, what the hell? I don't know what that is. Um, not that base. This one's a pretty old drawing, too. It might be an album 40? Could be. Maybe, maybe not. 32, maybe? And it was 32. And this was a, this is a pretty old drawing, too. Yeah, this one right here. It, as morbid as it looks, it does look pretty cool. I gotta say. On the graves and stuff, but you see this red base in the midst of all of this here snow. Cool as it look, it definitely is a very, very um, intimidating place. One that you're most likely not going to uh, want to go to. Even if you are a part of the Sanguine. It's just like everyone's up against each other's throats or something. I'm seeing if I can find another cool base, but I don't remember exactly. Okay, here's a here's the arid wastelands from Cerulean. No, not Cerulean. Yeah, Cerulean. No, no, Cadmium. That's the word I'm looking for. Cadmium, fool. Cadmium, you fool. Man, was it, were they that far apart? I feel like I would have come across the... Ah, the Waste Dome. Yeah, Waste Dome's also pretty cool. Not exactly the best, but it does look pretty cool. I'm talking about some exterior bases. Although we're going into the more later parts of all of that. It's been a while. I guess it doesn't exactly matter. We gotta focus on this right now here, you see? Which probably isn't gonna take that long. I'm reaching to about like an hour and a half, maybe two hours at most. We'll see what happens. Um, all I know is that there's still a decent amount of stuff that has to be done even after we've done this. Shading and texturing process, just only one part of this. The next part's going to consist mainly out of um, shadow effects.
the fog, the clouds, or dust clouds, I should say, not clouds. Stuff like that. But while we do that, what um, what can we uh, talk about? I wonder. We want to create like a, a nice little scenario within the facility like this, you know, like trying to like a little adventure scenario. See where we go with it. Yeah, we could probably do that. All right, so we find ourselves trapped within this area. We are stripped naked of everything. But the only thing that they haven't been able to remove from our possession is this lockpick kind of bobby pin thing. And we kept underneath our tongue. So we have this device to be able to escape. But we gotta choose our moments properly. A bunch of sanguine soldiers walk through the facility. But you want to make sure that you don't come across Lieutenant Goman herself, obviously. I wonder if you're able to see that. Oh, no, you can't. Oh, you can't see it because my head, uh, my camera's in the way. Me head cam's in the way. Anyways, um, yes. You gotta, um, you gotta get out of your dang old cups right here. You need to do it at a perfect time where little traffic resides within your area. Once you've done that, you've got your cuffs off, and now you find yourself within this facility. You gotta try to find a way out. So, what is our first objective? Do we check around the corners, or we try to find another way inside of the facility to escape? We go check around the corners, we got ourselves, at the very least, a chance of running into a soldier. Which is not good. So if we look around this here facility inside of our little room, what are we going to try to like look for? Hmm? Uh, a fix or loose vent hatch that we can just waltz right into? Deuce X style? Maybe we climb the pipes and try to get to, like, you know, ground level or up high. Do we even know what level that we are on? Not really, no. So I guess the first thing we need to do is to find a significantly good hiding spot in case we can't find a way out. Looking throughout this facility, there's not really a whole lot of hiding spots. You could try to go behind a fence like this, but um, they would probably look over the edge and catch us now, wouldn't they? I'd say another option is to probably try to pry open a fence fan like this. Uh, Probably going to be very noisy, though, so maybe not the best option either. We look around a facility here, and assuming that this is like what I said before. This, maybe like this is completely off. But, um, yeah, no, like, uh, we might not have a hiding spot to go to. So, um, I guess the only option we have here is to just escape. We can't hide anywhere around here in this facility. Okay, so where do we escape? Let's see. We don't know what floor we're on, let alone if the floor that we are on is, how you say, you know, midpoint, top floor, bottom floor. Are you, well, we're definitely not on the ground level. But are we close to ground level? If we go up, are we going to go to the roof? Or are we going to go to the surface? Who knows? I would say a good thing to do would be to try to find and locate a map. So let's just sneak around the facility in the hallways. The doors are left unlocked because there's no way anybody's going to be able to get out of their cuffs without some form of help, i.e. the thing that we used. All right, so here we go. We look left, we look right. We see a staircase going up and then we see a hallway on the right side. It's the staircase, the hallway over there. All right, so far the coast is clear. I have a funny moment involving that particular instance when the time comes, but the ghost, the coast is clear for now. Okay, so we've determined that it's safe to move around this part of the halls at this time. 
So we need to be very careful. Be very, very careful and very quiet. Thankfully, we are completely naked. So we have no thing, nothing that will make any noise. Only gotta be weary of our footsteps. So I'd say let's explore the hallway to the right. And we need to look for a map. All right, so we're going to explore the hallway. And um, obviously you hear a bunch of screaming in the distance. A whole bunch of screaming. And the screaming is all of the, sp the poor people who are still trapped in here, getting whipped. Now time is of the essence. They'll know we've escaped soon enough. So let's try to locate a map and make our game plan quickly. Okay. So where would be a good place to find a map? We've determined that going on this hallway here is a good chance of finding a map to show us the map of the entire D of this place. Ugh. Excuse me for a second. <clears throat> so the hallway we go into is a grid-based system. So think of the rooms like this, maybe a little bit more square-like. And there's like several of them. Mm, let's see. And there's four John, doors on each side of the tube, which leads into this area. So it's safe to assume that, um, all right, let's see. A good example. Let's go on ahead and get ourselves a quick little grid look to look at. Just like, not the, act, the entirety of the map, but just at the very least, well, I guess we could just do this so this stays accurate to the size we need. Door here, door here, door here, door here. Now, assuming that the entirety of all of the rooms are still the same, like, you know, we looked at it like with a square or something. Maybe not that big of a square. With the walls up here, the, the string them ups kind of stirrups. Is that center point? I don't really care. All we need to do is just try to get this as close as what it needs to be, and there we have it. This is presumably what all of the rooms look like. Maybe they've got like pipes at like the end point here, or something. Close to it. But that's the general layout of the these grid-like rooms. Okay, so this area is a high-risk area. Because this is where all the prisoners are. And you know damn well there's going to be a whole bunch of tormentors within this here facility. So let's see here. Pay attention to the screams, I guess. If screaming stop all of a sudden nearby, find a good place to hide behind a wall. And try to determine where that screaming came from. If you've determined where the room it came from, then we'll be able to figure out when and where the soldiers are going to walk out because they are done with that particular prison. All right, so let's walk. Let's walk around the hallway. We have our game plan here. We got our game plan in place here. All right, we're about to turn a corner. Keep your ear out. Do you hear anything? Well, do you? All right, you guys think that we didn't hear anything. Okay, let's see. We're turning around the corner. All right, cool. I think the coast is close. <laughs> well, well, well. <laughs> no, yeah, yes, we got caught, and now we're dead. But okay, bad job, guys. You didn't listen out. You didn't listen for the audio cues. I am disappointed in you all. You had one job, and now we're dead. Um, we could try again. All right, so listening out once more, listening out. Yeah, 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 okay. All right, we hear footsteps. We hear the footsteps. We need to quickly bounce back to the door, to the, uh, you know, the area where the tortured prisoners are. And now you're there. You're in that room. It's thankfully empty. 
great. Good luck for us. This room is empty, and there is no prisoners here for any of the guys, workers, to come and, you know, torture. All right, good. We found a nice place to reside for the time being while we try to come up with our game plan. We only have to worry about if they bring in prisoners to add into this room. But we'll worry about that when the time comes. So we can keep this room in mind and we'll come back to it when we need to, how you say, um, what's the word I'm looking for? When we need to hide. Yes. Um, is this the, uh, uh, it looks like it is. Let me zoom in. It is. Okay, good. Okay. So we have yet to find a map, but we look at, we wait to hear the, um, and you know, if the soldiers are passing by. Let's wait for a little bit. Okay. Okay. So far, so good. Clear. We also need to be careful because if this is what this looks like, well, most of the rooms are probably also pretty open. So we need to, you know, Make sure we um, aren't in the open. Let's see. This spot around here seems like a good place. The openings only seem to be towards the entrances. And you got the sidings here, which uh, lead to a bunch of pipe rooms, but walled off. So we can take cover behind here, go under the bar and take cover and just look out. We look out to make sure there's any guards passing by. All right, the footsteps seems to be getting quieter and quieter. We seem to be safe but now. We have a nice place to reside in, so now that we got this place in mind, let's go back out there and see if we can locate a map. We have to locate a map if we're going to get out of this facility now, aren't we? Yes. So... We go down the hallway that those guys go down, or do we go down the hallway that they came from? Let's see. We can go straight, left, or right. What direction do we always want to go in? I would say left. They just came from that area. Seems like a good place to go to and put some distance between us and them. Okay, so we go down the left hallway. There's no more footsteps. We are safe and clear to go. Then we go down it. With that in mind, and what do we find? All right, let's see. Let's look around the walls for a second. Perhaps, maybe, we'll get lucky to find a map. <sighs> I could go for a random number generator, actually. That's how, that's how, actually, this is how we'll make our decisions from if we do more of these in the future. Okay, um, let's see. A one in two chance. So what are we going to find here? If we find something... Okay, so if the number is one... Let me just go ahead. If the number is one, we find something. If it's not... Ooh, sorry, folks. The number is three. Looks like we didn't find anything. Well, that's fine. Let's keep going down the hallway. I'm probably, I am not going to show you that every single time. You're just going to have to believe my word when I say that we have found a number. Okay, we've come across another grid formation. So we got three areas to choose from. Now this one, I'm going to change the number from one to three. We get one, we go left. We get two, we go up. We get three, we go right. I feel like there's a better way to do that. Actually, hold on. I'm going to look up something. How many uh, numbers are on... Uh, uh, how many numbers are on a uh, DND dice, I guess? The, the best... I don't know what it is. Okay, 20 side? Okay, good. We'll use... We'll use that as our number point. So, um, 20. So, this is how we'll do it. 1 through 5, then 6 through 10, then 11 through 15, then 16 through 20. Four options there. 5, I guess. 20 is not divisible by 3. I don't know. Um, I guess what we can do for that is that we have 1... 
option B. Uh, we'll see. So uh, let's see. Generating a number. We want to go down the left hallway or right hallway or the upper hallway. Um, 1 through 20. Left, up, right. What would those numbers be? I mean, let's at least try to figure out how the uh, number system is going to work. So, um... To make this quick on us, we're going to get the exact number of what 20 divided by 3 is. It's saying 6, it's the devil's number, with a 7 at the end of it. Okay, so 6. <laughs> Would that mean that we'd have to have a 7 plus 7 plus 7? Okay, I guess that would that'll do. One through seven, uh, eight through fourteen, fourteen through twenty. The one will be a, the least amount. So, left, up, right. Unless we have the middle part be the one that's the least amount. I don't know. It needs to be even. I'll do twenty-one. I am friggin'. <laughs> why? Why am I trying so hard with this? We want to have some form of high-end number, but unfortunately, we can't have three-way number systems without it being completely off. So what if we just have four, then, for this part? Left, up, right, or go back the way we came. So that would be one through, f yeah, the, the number I just said. So let's see. Left, up, right, or down? Let's see. What's the number? Okay, that's seven. We're going forward. All right, let's let's go forward, shall we? But before we go forward, we have to see what's going to come up ahead now, shall we? Uh, whoopsis, I need you to not do that. All right, so I guess we're going to go through the same D&D &D rules. Low numbers mean we get a negative event. High numbers means we get positive event sure why not all right um let's list well okay now we see what's ahead of us in the hallway so there's no reason for us to uh actually you know get the thing that we need so this is how the system is going to work um 19 and 20 we find the item or need anything high we find something useful all right let's see what do we find in this hallway generate five oh Terrible luck, bro. Terrible luck. All right, let's see. What do we find at number five? Um, I guess we find a couple of soldiers about to turn the corner, but they don't turn it immediately. All right, we have a choice here. We got to go to the left hallway or the right hallway. Ten to ten. Let's see. Left or right? Left. Number one, we're going to the left hallway. Okay, we go into the left hallway. Is this the hallway that we want to go down? All right, the soldiers are coming down our way. We have a choice here. One choice. Do we oh, stand our ground? Do we reside, hide within the, um, one of the dungeon rooms? Do we just go to the other end of the hallway? Three chain? Three. Crap. Um, mm, uh, okay, okay. Um, seven, seven, six. Let's see. Stand our ground, hide, or go to other hallway. Nine. We hide. All right. Good choice, guys. Good choice. You made good, you're making good choices here. Using our quick thinking, we go inside of a, um, one of these rooms again. And what we find... If, mm, another low freaking number. We find a soldier whipping a prisoner. The soldier, thankfully, has not detected us yet. But... The soldiers on the outside, let's see. What direction are they going in? Ooh, they're going in our direction. Ooh. Ah, mm, okay, well, looks like we can't go out, so we have to be very careful and very quiet as to not, you know, uh, the, uh, catch the attention of the guard, yes. So, um, let's try to stealthily get to the other side. Quick time event. Eleven, okay. That's not bad. It's not good, but it's not bad. 
we make our way over to this spot here. Guard is smacking this guy right here, let's see. We went inside of the area, you know, like so. And the guard takes notice of something suspicious. Will he come to our direction? Will he acknowledge what's happened? Nine. Okay, he take he, he, he takes a little stroll, quick look around. He um, yells out, hey, uh, or um, ah, hey Jude, is that you? It looks okay. So he thinks it's one of his friends. All right. So now we're hiding behind a wall. Does he continue forward? He, he continues forward. Ooh, and we hear the footsteps going forward. Fuck you, RNG. You're really giving us the bad ending here, aren't you? Okay, we hear him going forward. We have to try to evade contact with him. So we slow, we try to quietly walk around the corner. Quietly? Okay, that's not quiet at all. It's like, Rose, Rose, that's you. You're you're freaking me out. Come on, come on, come on out. Okay, so he's a, he's right behind here, and we're over here trying to not freaking make a noise as we try to get to the exit. Surely the guards outside have left. So, okay, finally, nineteen. We make our way to the exit quietly. The door opens up quietly this time around, and the guy is looking around. Uh, Guess that was my imagination. Scratches his chin underneath his helmet and then goes back to whipping the prisoner. All right, good. We evaded death somehow. We really, I was really trying my hardest to not get us completely screwed over there. All right. Okay. Great. Fantastic. We managed to escape. We didn't get a chance to look in this hallway. Should we find anything good? 18! Okay, it's not the thing we're looking for, but we do find a vent shaft. All right, great. One of the best things we could hope for is a vent shaft. Um, I don't know why I'm... I think we're done with the texturing process here. Maybe the door... Oh, wait, no. Yeah, the, no, this side might need to be textured. I should try to look around before I fully finish it off. Oh, wait a minute. Something here is off. Okay, so we go into the vent shaft area. That's great. It's fantastic. Part of me wonders if I should do some form of like, you know, draw a DND &D kind of area and we just play out a story using RNG or something. I don't know anything about Game Master stuff, but this is a good start, I guess. Okay, so we now are in the vent shaft and we're crawling through the vents. As we crawl through the vents, we've come across an intersection. Do we go left, up, right? There's no reason going the back the way we came from, so to 7, to 14, to 20. Let's see. Left, up, right. We keep going forward. All right. Oh, wait, no. 1 to 7? No, we go left. Right. This is not four options. So we go left. Okay, let's see. As we go left, what is going to happen? Numbers? 15. Okay. We find ourselves... You know, an exit to a hallway. So we can open up the hatch just a tiny bit. We don't hear any guards coming by, so that's great. Our luck seems to be turning around, perhaps. And what do we find in this hall as we peek out? Ooh, number three. Mm -hmm. Nah, no, that's not good at all. We see a guard coming around the hallway. Luckily, we were quick thinking and were able to get inside before he could see us, yet he heard the vent shaft and was... He, 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 think, but he didn't know that it was the vent shaft. But now he's looking around the area trying to figure out what that noise was. What was that noise? What was that? He looks around. So we just, we are just going to stay there and be quiet, right? Nah, this is RNG time. Also, I, I think I need to do something about this. Because this looks weird with the pipe going in here like that. It, okay, the dogs are barking all of a sudden in the middle of the night at 2 a.m. while people are trying to sleep. Um... Okay, so uh, let, let's uh, let's uh, see here then. Um, do we stay quiet or do we try to move? One, 
left us. Quieter move, quieter move. Ooh, we move. Hmm, hmm, ah, hmm. Okay, uh, let's see. Are we gonna move quietly through the vent? Okay, good. We are generally quiet. The guard is unaware of us inside the vents. And we keep on moving forward. We gotta f try to find a way out of here. If we don't find a way out of here, well, we're screwed. All right, we are going to do an event check. Okay, good. The event check is a pass. If the event check is a very special event. Wait, did I actually do this? Because I don't think I did. The event check, we want to make sure that we get, you know, a pass every time. Less we want to, uh, you know, make things more difficult for us. You'll see what that is soon enough if the pass fails for whatever reason. Hopefully we can get out of here soon because we are running out of space to, like, do anything here. All right, so, um, off we go further into the vent shafts. So, we've come across the corner, and we come across yet another little hatch entrance to the other hallway. Now, let's see, what do we find here? Uh, generate. Ooh, it's good. We pop our head outside the vent, and we find a map of the facility. And, um, now that we have a map, we can get a general idea on where we are and where we need to go. So, let's see here. Is the map good? If it's up, uh, up or down, up or down, or do we need to go up or do we need to go down? We need to go up. It would appear that we're in an underground facility. This here underground facility means that we're, oops, we're gonna have to go up. All right, up it is then. Thankfully, God damn it! I'm gonna move you over here so I can't accidentally move you as I do this. All right, good. Um, let's see here. I think this is supposed to be under right. Oh wait, no, this is a completely different pipe that we are working on apparently. Thankfully, we're in the ceiling, so we can go up and try to find a vent shaft leading upward. All right, so we continue on forward in our vent shaft adventures. And we find a shaft that's going up. All right, good, great, fantastic. As we go up, we find a vent cover. So let's see. We go on ahead and look through the grate a bit, and we find, ooh, we're in the guard's quarters. Not good, not good at all. But, um, you know, that's fine. That's fine. We know not to go this way, so we continue forward into a different area. Um, let's see. Are we lucky enough to find anything good throughout the event shafts? Let's see. Okay, mediocre. We um, find an exit to a hallway. The event ends in a dead end. With nowhere else to go and no good place to go, we ex Escape the vents, and we're in the hallway now. Is the hallway clear? It is clear. Good. Okay, great. The hallway is clear. I'm going to start doing uh, shadows and stuff right now. Um, you are probably going to share the same shadow lines with Gomen. No, 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 you fool. I have to select you. Okay, so we find ourselves within all. We look to the left of us. We see a staircase going up. Good sign, good sign. Look to the right of us. We see more prison, of the prison area. So far, it seems like we got two options. Do we go up the stairs or do we go right? Upstairs or right? Upstairs or right? Up the stairs. All right. Now, what do we find up those stairs? Let's see. Mm, we found a secure door, which seems to lead within the guard entrance. Now, we have some inclination before us, actually. 
since this is the guard's entrance, entry point, it would seem that we're on the second uh, level going downwards. We're probably on negative, uh, floor negative one. Or, yeah, if zero is surface, then this is floor negative one. Assuming that this is the guard's, you know, position, stuff like that. that that's like, assuming they have their office on the surface. So it's not all that bad. We find out that potentially this is, you know, we're close to the surface. Okay, so um, we can't access this door. There's no door check here that we have. Um, and even if we could get ourselves a guard key, there's no guarantee the guard are going to let a naked person walk right on out because they know that, that there is a prisoner. They know that there is a prisoner and they're not going to let them escape, at least through the front doors. So we go down to the hallway. And the hallway, there's left, up, and right. There's no going down. So where do we go? Left, up, or right? We go up. All right, good, great, fantastic. We're heading up now. Where does up lead us? Well, considering the fact that we are in a the area where the guard's entry door point is, we're going deeper into the facility. All right, another grid. Let's see, left, up, or right? Come on. Good numbers. Still going up. All right, good. We keep on going up. We found everything that we need within the facility, but now we're doing an event check. Ooh, the guards have determined. The, the guards have discovered that we have escaped, and now the alarms are blaring throughout the facility. Oh crap! Look like things are going to get difficult. Oh no! <laughs> It looks like our numbers have decreased to 15. I don't know how that would make sense. That may be less of a chance or something in some departments. Or should it be like bad rates are now increased, actually? Go back to 20, actually. The bad rates have now increased. Now the numbers for the bad num Now the bad numbers is... um. 15, yes. So um, if we get 15, uh, below 15, so let's see, level one, um, one, two, three, four, five. Now, if we get 15 or below, those are the, are the bad numbers. So now our good numbers have decreased. I've determined that um, one through seven, or no, one, yeah, one through seven is bad. And in predisposure, that 20 through 14 is good. And with that in place, that would mean 8 through 13 is mediocre. So now we've... Mediocre has been taken out of the equation. The good has been decreased. Now it's either bad or good. Which might be good because we are getting quite close to the end of this. Soon. Soon enough. Alright, well, crap. They found us and now we are more likely going to get caught and uh, murderized. So, oh no, the guards have found, or the guards have uh, discovered that we are gone. The event failed and now we are punished for it. Okay, well, crap, um, what do we do? What do we do? We are right now in the middle of the hallway. What happens in this hallway? Ooh, unlucky 13. Ooh, crap, the guards co turn the corner and they see us. They got their guns out and ready. Okay, can we can we make, can we get out of the way in time? Come on. We have two options here. We run back or we try to hide into a room. All right, let's see. Run back and hide in a room. This is still a 10 for 10 chance. Okay, we hide in the room. I don't know how good that is, actually. Um, all right, so we go into the room. All right, the, uh, the door closes. We, um, uh, there, there's no way we're going to be able to bar, bar the door shut or block it because there's nothing in here to block it with. So, um, what do we do? What do we do? We probably avoided getting shot down, but now we're stuck. All right, um, there's another way out of this. Um, so the guards are shooting through these little gaps here, and we are going to try to go past without any injuries. Ooh, we got shot in the shoulder, but we're still kicking, apparently. 
And just because it's all bad doesn't mean that some of the bad can't be negated by getting a higher number in that department. Well, we had sustained an injury. This is bad, but this is manageable. So we managed to get through. All right, great. Bullet in our shoulder. That's good. Awesome. Great. Fantastic. Although it's 13, so maybe not a bullet in our shoulder. Maybe a, a scrape, but at least a, a slightly deep cut. Yeah, that, that, that'll do for 13. Yeah, sure. Why not? 13, 14, 15. I guess that's fine. All right, so we were able to get to this point here. We're now here in this particular part of the room. Okay, what do we do now? We're stuck, and the door's about to be open. Um, we could try to, oh no, but climbing the pipe. We could probably climb the pipes, but the pipes under the ceiling, we might just go to the bottom floor. Hmm, this is a question. This is a good question. All right, so we might walk on over to this area over here. And the guards open up the gates. All right, so we need to go onto the pipe. Can we get onto the pipe safely? Okay, good. We're on the pipe safely. We're now on the pipe. The guards are looking around the room. They don't know where we are. And we position ourselves in the spot where they can't see us. They're looking around the room. Now, um, this is going to be the important part. Up or down? Oh, we go up. Okay, let's see what's up. As we go up, we find... Oh, piping system up above. Okay, let's see. So we find piping systems. Enough space? Enough space? Oh, that's not enough space at all. We can barely fit our finger in between just to try to climb through that area. <clears throat> Is this an option? Do we dare risk to attempt this? Yes or no? Do we attempt to climb the pipes? Yes. Or no. We do not climb the pipes. We all find another option. Kind of sucks that we got an 18 out of a 50 50 chance here, but you know, maybe we won't run out of our luck yet. Okay, so the guards check the room and they cannot find us. Thankfully, they are none the wiser about our general position, but now that we're up higher, they can't see us, so we're good. We made the right decision. But we are still in a predicament. Okay, so let's look around. Do we get anything good? 13, mm, not good, not good at all. Oh crap, oh, okay. All right, okay, so we look around and we don't really find anything very useful. We find some vent shafts here and there, which could be useful, but not that useful, unfortunately. Okay, all right. Um, so, we didn't find anything too good, but there are vents in there. How many vents? Let's see. Let's count them out. Uh, one, two, three. Okay, there are three vents we can choose from. So, three chances. What do we choose? The first, second, or third vent. First vent is more up close to the top. Second one is in the middle. And the third one is a little bit further down and past this room. Come on, good number. All right, we take the vent up top. This is good. This is a great option for us. We're already up top. Not a whole lot to um, query on what like kind of luck we got in this department. It's funny how I'm drawing this out by literally making a freaking DND scenario of us trying to escape this facility. But I'll take it. Okay, congratulations. You're now inside the vent. So we're now walking throughout the, or crawling throughout the vent shafts during time. It's through the area, it's the um, hallways as per usual. What do we find? Come on, something good, something good. Thirteen. Mm, we're just not getting lucky today. So, thankfully, the 13, it's just 13, so it's not that bad, but you hear a very familiar voice echo throughout the facility. A young Korean woman's voice. Oh, no. Oh, God, no. Anything but her. <laughs> or should we query it? Is it her? All right, let's see. Is this voice something we recognize? Eleven. Mm, 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 not that bad, thankfully, but, um, you know, not that good. So the person that we hear is actually the general. The war dog himself, General Scar. 
And trust me, she is a bunch of lower on the list. You don't want her catching you. General Scar, would, it would be the General Scar is the kind of man who would just put a bullet in the back of your head. She. So consider ourselves lucky to have General Scar. Skull rocks throughout the facility, and you hear him yelling at some of his soldiers. In a deep Russian accent. Oh, the coarse Russian accent. Yelling at them for letting a prisoner escape. And the whole facility looks around the place. So, we couldn't find anything very good, which is terrible for us. But, could be worse. Could be way worse. I don't know how worse it could be. All I know is that it's, whoops, it's pretty bad. All right, um, let's continue forward, I guess. With no other option on our hands, we have to continue forward. So, we continue forward, and we find ourselves four different areas to choose from. There's no way we're going back. Left, right, up, or left, up, right, or left, forward, right, or up. Which one we choose? Okay, so it looks like we're going to be going left. All right, so we're going left. Do we find anything good within this here vent? Mm, 12! Jesus Christ, we're just failing these freaking RNG luck chances, aren't we? Okay, so, um, man. 12, what is, how bad is 12? Let's see. Ooh, I can have that for a back here. Or I could have, no, I can save that for the next part. Okay, so 12, we find ourselves going down. And at the end, we find the exit. However, or the exit of this vent shaft, not the exit. Where this is a bad luck draw here. However, as we go down, and I think this fog actually should be much higher than I think about it. So we go on ahead, go down this here vent shaft, and we find ourselves within... The, the the mother of the, the the heart of the entire facility. So we see all the prison cells. We were like it's like um a bunch of towers with a bunch of these pipe systems going throughout the middle part here. Right. Zen followed by how you say um um um. um, um, um. What, what, what do we find? What do we find? Mm. Ah, down below, we find a bunch of soldiers scouring throughout all of the hallways. So, um, this is the direction that we are choosing to go down. And how do we navigate? Okay, good. We are navigating through this particular part of the, the, the hallways via the pipe system. Thankfully, the pipes in this particular area are a hell of a lot more open and easy to grab upon. So this will make our exploration objective in, whoops, inside of this particular part of this facility much more easier. As we monkey climb throughout the, oops, throughout the entire facility, what might we find, you may ask? What could we find, you may ask? Well, it seems as though that we have found ourselves. Ooh, number four. Ooh, ooh, not number four. Believe me, number four would be the best freaking thing to find within this facility. But number four. Mm, we find Lieutenant Goman walking throughout the facility. And this is a low number. She is a very, very dreadful person. You can't even call her a person. She is just a monster. Far beyond anybody's reasonable nightmares. And she has a good sense for scenes. I'm gonna not... I'm gonna do this with the fog for this part. Ooh. Okay, RNG. Please don't fuck us here. 
please, for the love of God, RNG, do not fuck us. Lieutenant Goman is using her superhuman-like senses. So he doesn't have super... Well, most of the sanguine people are mutated due to all the toxic waste crap. She's just lucky enough to not be turned into an actual mutant. Come on. Come on. Blow on my phone. Blow on my phone right now. Come on, let's do this. I hope you blew... I hope you blowed hard enough. Come on. <laughs> Generate. Number three, you didn't blow hard enough. You didn't blow hard enough. She detects us and whips the pipes down below. Oh dear, we are about to be punished severely. Oh shit. Oh god. Oh, I'm just thinking about the Will Smith shrink, space shrink <laughs> as he just looks at Lutango. So, so before we go about the, the pipe um, destroying uh, sequence, uh, Lieutenant Goman snaps her gaze towards us directly, and we have the we we just have the Will Smith shrunk face meme as <laughs> she st takes her whip out and starts destroying all of the freaking pipes down below. Do we come out safe? Mm, we fall down below. Oh, our legs! Ah! Oh, oh, my legs! Oh, shit! We are doing bad! Oh, God! Oh, God! We gotta get a, We gotta get really lucky here, okay? Lieutenant Goman is coming at us. This is coming at us with our whip. Oh, or with her whip. Oh, God. We gotta get this quick time event, folks. Quick time event, come on. Do good. You failed the quick time event. You failed it. Oh, God, we're being whipped now. Oh, oh our naked bodies. Oh, crap. Oh, the pain is severe. Oh, no, another quick time event. Come on. Okay, good. We were able to evade the whip. Get up. Brace through the pain. We were able to brace through the pain, and now we are trying to run out of the facility. I'm trying to run away from Lieutenant Goman. And all the other foot soldiers are behind getting a gun drain. Lieutenant Goman puts up her arm and says, Nut, or whatever Korean woman would say. And yeah, or needs or something. No, that's Russian still. Or they are mine or something. Whatever the typical, stereotypical, like, sadistic Korean lady voice. That, that's, I, I, I haven't figured out what voices I wanted to give to most of these characters yet. She says that we are hers and hers alone as she ch gives the chase. I know, Kat. I know. It's a very stressful moment, isn't it? All right, we're running down the halls with Lieutenant Goman behind our asses. She gets ready her whip. Quick time event, come on, come on. You failed the quick time event. Our backs get smacked. Ah, oh, ah, oh, God, the pain is severe. The blood loss is great. Ah, mm. oh, we are low on health. What is our health, actually? I'm going to take up a notepad. We came into this with 100 out of 100 HP. We took a fall. That took like 80% of our HP. We took a hit from her whip. That's like 15, so that's 65 HP. Mm. We were able to evade it, but uh, then we got hit again. Now we're half health. Oh, no. We're half health now, folks. We are close to death. All right, we can't fail in many more quick time events. They've got a hallway to run down. What do we go down, folks? Come on. Let's see. Left, forward, or right. We got to make quick decisions. Come on. Left, forward, or right. Okay, we go left. Thankfully, we go left. We avoid a potential whip event. If we go forward, we would have had to run the risk of RNG again, as it probably would have screwed us over greatly. So we're running down the left hallway, and we have a, we're able to cover a little bit more distance between us and Lieutenant Goman. Okay, come on, come on. Event, event sequence happening right now. What happens? Ooh, she sprints down the hallway. We're barely able to cover any distance. Mm, oh, come on, quick time event, quick time event. Oh, my back again. Ah, oh, crap. Mm, we're at 35 HP. If we go any lower, we're going to die. Soon. Oh, God, you guys, you suck at this game. 
why am I putting their trust in all of you out there? All of you very zero audience members out there doing your thing. Ah, mm. ow. Oh, the pain is severe and great. Uh. Okay, do we have an option here? Do we run to the center hallway or do we try to hide when that room left? Uh, run or hide or run or uh, room? Okay, we go in room. Good, great. We avoid a potential uh, quick time event. Awesome. Ow. So, um, great. We're now in the room. We still are running. Thankfully, we're just a little... Wait, why am I doing this? This is the wrong one. I, I am full. How, how did I do this? I'm just going to restart. No, no, no. What are you doing? I'm just going to restart. I don't know why I did it like that. I forgot where it was. Okay, good. We're now in the room. Still a dead end. We're still in the dead end. Or would you stop scratching the damn freaking desk cat? Stop it. Stop, stop, stop. Cat just slides out of the freaking. And now you got a pink feather you're trying to slide out as well. All right, so uh, we're low on health and close to death. Close to death's doorstep. We weren't able to escape. We RNG just screwed us this event. It screwed us this round. Ah. Uh, okay, so we um we can't really hide. She'll know where we are. Our only option is to jump. Is this a good jump? Okay, it's a good jump. All right, good. We grab onto a nearby pipe. She just entered her room and is now looking around. We need to find a way to get out of this area. Quick time event, come on. Okay, good, thank God. Okay, we succeeded the quick time event and we were able to evade Lieutenant Goman for now. But that's not gonna last at all. So, good job, folks. We have a moment. Okay, I don't know why I'm doing this. This is not as good as I thought it would look. Stop it. Cat. <sighs> we have a breather. A momentary breather. But it's not going to last too long. We are now jumping among the pipes. Doing as best we can to not pass out from the pain and what little blood we've lost. So... Let's see. There's got to be a way out of this here facility. There has to be a way. Let's look up at the vent. Okay, see if there's any vents around. Look for vents. Any good vents? 12. No good vents around. There's one vent. We can take it, or we can continue going forward. Let's see. Yes or no? Take vent? Don't take vent. We don't take vent. Okay. All right, probably for the best. Quick uh, event check. Okay, good. Nothing bad happens. Everything's doing good so far. Catch keeps scratching the goddamn desk. I need to get our attention up here. I really wish you would stop going down there and scratch that cat. Okay. So, um, event check, nothing happened. Um, do we find another event? Come on, something good. Get Find us something good around this area. Damn it, we keep finding nothing but crap. Okay, more vents. But do we take those vents? These vents are the least desirable vents. Do we take them? Yes or no? We take the vent. Okay, we're going to take this vent. I, I, I think we're going to vent. Oh my god, we need to stop. Do I have to freaking pull this forward or something? And try to prevent you from moving in that area? Do I need to put something there to stop you from moving? Right, she just won't listen. She's hard of hearing, hard of listening. What are you doing back there? How do you teleport over there? All right, well, we're in the vents now. Um, I'm going to make some clouds now. Clouds. Yeah, this probably would have been done a hell of a lot sooner if we didn't do this, but I, I like this. I like this here little, you know, quick time instances. This the story line setup. Okay, all right. Oh, my God, cat. Stop it. 
Stop it! I am going to put something there to prevent you from going back there and doing that. You. No, that's too big. Seriously, I'm getting sick and tired of hearing you scratching that. Don't make me have to move this entire friggin' bed just to grab you and put you away from that area. God, and this thing's coming loose as well. I seriously need... We need to get a better friggin' place to live than this crap hole. Yeah. Without any further distractions, cat. <sighs> We continue down the vents, and we find something terrible. The vents break before us, and now we're in a hallway. Check. RNG is really screwing us over here, isn't it? This would have been mediocre if it wasn't for us failing that one event check. So, we fall down, and we see a whole bunch of soldiers. Can we escape them? Nope, they capture us. Great. Fantastic. That's right, come out. Come on out. Come on. I want to hold you now. It don't scratch my face. It's what happens when you don't listen. I'm going to hold you now. You're now going to be a part of the video. What are you looking at? Keep telling and stop distracting that. You're distracting the storytelling here. Hey, hey, hey. What's that on your head? So you got stuff on your head because you keep trying to go under there. What are you looking at? That face. Oh, okay. I don't know why you're doing that. Cadillac. All right. Calm down. Sit down and be quiet. Don't scratch the desk. Scratch the chair for frick's sakes. That chair over there, not this one, obviously. <sighs> yeah, these cats just don't listen. They really don't. So, we couldn't evade them. We have been captured. What is our fate? Let's see. RNG has been screwing us over so far. Oh boy, nine. Great, fantastic. We're taken directly to Lieutenant Goldman. Awesome. Great, fantastic. RNG is screwing us over. All right, Lieutenant Goldman now has us in her grasp yet again. Uh, that's fantastic. All right, um, what's going to happen to us? Oh, good. Number seven. We keep getting screwed over. All right, so now we've been locked up in these rooms again. They've been locked up in this room once more. Would you for the love of God stop doing that? I'm gonna move this damn thing out then. Far enough out so I can freaking do the thing I need to do to stop you from freaking scratching that more effectively. Chris, you won't listen. You need to listen. There's only one way to do to make you listen. And that requires me to actually get to you to stop you. And just a smack a lack of your f butt. I don't think I can actually reach your butt from here. So I'm going to have to just wave my hand in your general direction and hope that I smack at your butt. Alright, so now we're locked up. Okay, let's see. We've, um, we failed. Miserably. What is our fate? Come on, good number. <laughs> You guys suck at this game. You guys really do suck at this game. <laughs> well. Um, sorry, folks. Seems like this is the end for us. It was a nice run. So let's say our goodbyes. Man, RNG uh, really did uh, screw us over here, didn't it? It really did screw us over. Remember that time we thought we were about to find a way out of here before we actually found the map. We were actually making good progress. And then um, the RNG, it, it, it fucked us. It, it fucked us good. <clears throat> so now we're just going to remin remnants about rem remnants about the 
the good times of us actually successfully managing to escape this here facility. As we are losing our health. Oh, our health's now zero. Oh, it's negative 10. Oh, 20. Oh, 50. 100. 150. Negative 200. Oh. Our back is gone. Our life fading before our eyes. Oh, God. Mm. Oh, the pain starts to go numb. Our, the entirety of our back is now just flesh. There's, there's no skin. All the skin is gone. Our life is flashed before our eyes. Just everything goes to shit. Heartbeat. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. We got one last final check. One last check. RNG. Be gracious. Number two. I should have known. It was you. It was you all along, number two. I knew I should have blew you up when I had the chance. Well, we, we, uh, we died. This, uh, this sucked. Um... It is really does suck. We uh, we got so far only to just die in the end of it. Really, RNG just did not want us to have a happy ending there. I tried, folks. I really did. But we kept rolling so many negatives that I just, you know, there was no other way for us to end that. We were either going to get lucky and get to the good ending and escape this facility, or die trying. And we died trying. Um, so, yeah, that game over. Great, fantastic. We, we died. We're all dead now. Congratulations, you fucked us. Oh, jeez, you fucked us. If only you weren't so terrible at RNG. Oh, but seriously, there was nothing we could have done to prevent that outcome. We kept getting low numbers, and I don't know why. Those low numbers really did just do a number on us, literally. Well, I mean, there's... Not really much we could have done. Um, and we did do the number system like a little bit into the game, but I, I don't think us starting it at you know at any particular time would have done much of a difference. Shush. shush. Hey man, I want. Why don't you sit on my lap, Cadillac? Relax. If you want attention, just come over to here and you can sit on my lap and I'll pet you or something. I don't know. Cat just doesn't know what she wants. Usually the case, right, Cat? Meow. Why do we die, Cat? Why do we have to die? There's no good reason for us to die. We kept failing over quick time events. The game was really trying to give us a chance there, but we just kept failing. I don't know how we could have done things differently. At the end of it all, we really just needed to have RNG on our side. It is the main reason why I don't like uh, number-based games, luck-based games, because I have crappy luck. Yeah, actually, that'll work. Got some like bright lights coming off of that particular. I don't know if she's playing with the trash can now. I don't even think you can see her without me having to move. And if I move, she's just going to move back into position or move away from me and stop playing with the trash can. Well, good game, folks. Good game. If y'all wanted to literally get your flesh ripped off by a Korean sadist woman, shush. 
then, you know, good for you. You guys got your good endings, but we, we got a bad ending. No, no, there's no pussy footing around that. We got the bad ending. What? I don't even know he can hear her. Cadillac. Like. We are quite close, I think, actually. We're almost, it, it was a good time to end it, even if it was all on a bad ending. We managed to make some progress, but we got unlucky enough for an event failed check. And then they're kind of starting to even play a part in that. RNG hated us so much that Scar showed in the first part, but then we just kept getting real bad polls until Lieutenant Goman came into play. It, we would have gotten a good play if it was Commander David. Because, you know, he isn't exactly in the same vein as the Sanguine. He's not sadistic. And he probably would have helped us to escape. If RNG actually, you know, was on our side, we might have actually escaped. But it wasn't. We, um... Yeah, we got screwed over, Cat. But I don't know if there's anything more that I have in store for this, do I? I think we might be done. Which is good, it is getting kind of late, and uh, I'm not sure if I'm... I mean, I'll try to get this done, but it's not going to take that long, but, you know, I'll still. But, uh, there we go, folks. Um, drawing is finished. It sucks that we failed the game. But, hey, outside of weird stories, we got those D&D stories dictated by RNG. Why do I get the feeling we can get a whole bunch of bad endings? I don't know. You know, like certain drawings that could take precedence in those particular um, storylines or something. I don't know. So, with effects, without effects. Huge difference. Changes the mood completely. Dreary, dusty, terrible looking. Ooh, a little bit of light over here, some red light over here. Dark still, regardless. Yeah, huge difference. Uh, well, let me see that for a second, actually, before I go any further. Mm, and then that looks like you're looking at the back of his head. Yeah, we we didn't get this treatment. We got worse than that. Uh, I, I hope you can see this thing here. <laughs> this cancel mark over here. In case you can't see the cancel mark. Yeah, cancel mark. Well, there you go, folks. I'm going to do a little save, and uh, yes, great, fantastic. So, um, thank you all for watching today's Art Time. Um, if you enjoyed this, and cat over there, if you enjoyed this little D, you know, D&D, um, this storyboard playthrough dictated by RNG and all that stuff, please leave a like. Do all that stuff down below. Let me know what kind of storylines you want to hear. Maybe we can make combine weird stories with the Fred Flintstone Barney and the, the random RNG. Make her make a brand new weird story. I don't see why not. I actually might be funny. I might actually work. End up subscribe for more if you want to see more. This video is a little bit shorter than the other one, but you know, that's fine. That's fine. It, it, we got to watch Strackbow and all that. And also check out the Strackbow. That's a good podcast to listen to because, you know, they own Bob Wade and Mark. And I, I don't know why I had Bar class, but, you know, it's fine. But, uh, yes, um, go check out them. Subscribe for more of my stuff as well if you, if you want to hear more of my insane ramblings. And, um... Playlist. Right? The playlist. Make sure you check out that playlist. Minecraft as well as Art Time, you know, the two main series on this here channel right now. Two for the time being, because, you know, there's a lot of, you know, I don't have a lot of time to be make more series. But, uh, yes, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next Art Time episode. Yeah. Later.